In this video we're going to replace the front discs and pads on the 2014 Mazda 3. I'll include the socket sizes and the torque values in the bottom right of the video. I will link any unique or odd tools used for the job in the video description. I'll also include the socket sizes, tools required and torque values in the video description as well. When removing the caliper, it's worth hanging this uh, from the front suspension spring. I use a bungee cord uh, tied in a knot to keep the strain off of the brake hose to avoid any damage on that. Also worth noting when removing the brake pad carrier, uh, it's worth checking whether the sliding pins are moving freely. If not, could be worth taking them out cleaning them and re-greasing them with red rubber grease or similar. In this video I don't show this because the pins were moving freely and did not require any attention. So with that I will let you watch the rest of the video. At this point I'm inserting an M8 bolt into the brake disc, brake rotor, and what this is doing is forcing the rotor away from the wheel hub or bearing assembly. These do tend to get corroded onto the hub which can make removing them quite difficult. So you see there's a movement there from using that bolt and we can hammer the disc off the rest of the way. So after this we're going to clean the surface with a wire brush. It's really important to keep this uh, mating surface flat. Uh, otherwise you will experience a run out on the disc which will give uh, effectively an uneven feel in the brake pedal and some general wobbly feeling under braking so we want to make sure that this is free from uh, any debris or rust. Before we push the piston back into the brake caliper, it's really important that we remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir so that that fluid expansion has somewhere to go. It's also worth keeping an eye on that reservoir as you're pushing this back in to make sure that it doesn't overflow and drip brake fluid through your engine bay. <laughs> 